Welcome back to MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 4.1, we see how to set up people resources. So first, we see what are the different types of resources, how to enter people resource names, and other features like initials and grouping. For this tutorial, you can use the sample project prepared at the end of lesson 3.7 available on group.net. Let us come back to our project plan. We usually view our project in the Gantt chart view. To add resources, we go to the resource view. For that, go to the view tab, then the resource view sub tab and then click resource sheet. This opens a new sheet which has columns like resource name, type, materials, initials, group, etc. Resources are generally classified by MS Project in three types. They can be work-based resources, material-based resources and cost-based resources. Work-based resources are like people or equipment which consume time in terms of hours, days or weeks. Material based resources are those which get consumed in the process of project progress. Cost based resources are those in which no work is done but the activity associated with that particular task has some cost incurrence. For example, let us say that there is a task like painting. So, the painter will be a work resource and in the work resource he will be classified in the people category. The painting tools like the brushes, rollers etc. will be the equipment. Now if you see the painters and the painting tools do not get consumed during the project. They, are, they work in terms of hours or days and they are paid accordingly. The material resource will be the paint, the primer and things like that. They will get consumed during the project, so their costs are not calculated on an hourly basis but rather in terms of bulk quantities. The cost resource will be probably if the painter charges some amount for travelling to your location, that becomes a cost resource. So that has no work done. The, whether he takes one hour or whether he takes two hours it, to reach the place it is immaterial but you are paying a travelling cost so such resources get classified as cost resources. Now let us come back to our project plan. To enter a resource name we simply type in at the rows of the resource name column. So we can say maybe concrete contractor as one resource. You press enter to reach the next row where you can enter the second resource name. If you look at the row you will see that there are a number of uh, columns in which uh, entries happen automatically. If you go to the type you will see that work is selected by default. If you click on the right arrow here it shows that there are options like work, material and cost. So, since a contractor is a work resource, we leave it at work. The meanings of the other tabs will be explained in subsequent tutorials. We can then proceed to enter the next resource name like maybe a Finnish carpentry contractor. then probably a fencing contractor and so on. You can see here that for each of these entries that you make an initial is automatically given based on the first alphabet of the resource name. This is for easier sorting. You can also group people into smaller groups if they are related to each other in some type. Let us say if we create a group called um, let us say concrete and let the 
finishing carpentry and fencing contractor be in another group called carpentry the advantage is that when you have too many resources you can view them by the group you can go to filter and you can filter by group you can provide a group name and only those will be shown so to summarize we have seen how to enter people resource names what are the different types of resources and about other features like initials and grouping a sample of the project plan completed up to this stage is available on group.net thank you for joining us on this video tutorial in the next part of the video tutorial series we see how to enter equipment resources